Cola with DiscountJuicers.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you and today I'm going to share some of my favorite citrus and pomegranate juicers in the whole world and I'm going to make a cool recipe for you that I came up with actually the other day. So uh, the juicers that we're going to use today are these guys. It's actually called the Jupiter uh, Commercial Citrus Press and over on this side we have the Olympus, like Mount Olympus, Olympus Commercial Citrus Press. Now, these guys, they use the exact same uh, stainless steel cone and strainer. So they got the uh, strainer in here, 100% stainless, and the funnel here, 100% stainless. And they're identical on both. The only other uh, difference on these guys, as you guys can see, are the size. So this guy's a bit shorter. You're not gonna get as much leverage on it when you you know pull the handle down. That's all right, because still it puts out Plenty of pressure to squeeze all the juice and squeeze the bejeebies out of pomegranates too. Uh, the only other major difference is just the heavy dutiness of it. This one's actually lighter. The base is a little bit thinner. The base is a little bit thicker over on this side. And uh, the final thing that's probably the main factor for me is that you know when I'm juicing uh, citrus fruits or pomegranates, I don't want to just juice a little bit, man. I want to juice a lot. So in the uh, standard Jupiter. You could fit like a small 16 ounce, like this is just a standard like uh, jar underneath it, like uh, one that like uh, nut butters would come in. Uh, that'll fit underneath there fairly nicely. And on the taller one, you could actually fit a nice uh, 24 ounce container. And this is just a standard ball, uh, wide mouth, 24 ounce container underneath. Or actually, you could even fit a 32 ounce uh, mason jar in the Olympus. So you could juice literally double the amount without having to swap out uh, your little container there. So I like that a lot. We're going to be using the 24 ounce. I like this size a lot actually because I just uh, end up drinking out of it. And uh, these are my number one top picks for a uh, handheld manual citrus press style juicer. I've checked like most all of them out in the market. You know, some of them have actually little like uh, winching systems that have gears that spin. I don't particularly care for those. You know, I, I find that the gears break oftentimes, and some of the ones that they have are actually uh, like plated uh, metal, and I find that the, pl the steel on those guys are kind of thin and uh, with use can break. These guys are nice, heavy duty, and actually quite heavy at that. Always when storing your uh, juicer, you want to store it with the handle down. Let me tell you, I've learned the hard way because I stored it with the handle up, and you knock the handle, boom, this thing will come and hit you on the head not a fun idea so always store your juicer with the handle down another thing that may be important for you some of you guys that uh, you know uh, you're gonna store this on your counter this sits on my kitchen counter year-round no matter what time of year it is now this one is too tall it will not actually fit underneath your counter tops if you want to slide it all the way to the back whereas uh, the smaller guy will so that might be important for you for me, it's more about like the size and how much juice it could hold overall. Other than that, these were great to extract juice from things like you know uh, oranges, uh, lemons, uh, actually uh, Meyer lemons, and what we're going to juice today is actually these guys. These guys are actually called sweet limes. So don't confuse these with your standard green limes or even lemons, which they kind of look like. These are sweet limes, and I'm making a recipe today with the sweet limes and the pomegranates. And the sweet limes basically have a no acid flavor. You know, a lot of citrus fruits taste acidy, like they got that citric acid in there. This has, if they're ripe, has no acidity in there. A very faint hint of sweetness with a nice, like, citrus flavor. And uh, it's, it's quite good, actually. But alone, it's decent. It almost reminds me of, like, just drinking, like, a real, like, water with lemon in it. But there's, once again, there's no bitterness. It's just, it's a sweet lime. And uh, these may be available at local uh, Mexican or ethnic markets near you, uh, Persian markets, Mexican markets. Uh, they're quite uncommon, so most places will not have them, plus they're only in season, uh, you know, in the winter time. They're coming out of Southern California. So we're going to mix the sweet limes that have a really cool flavor with one of my favorite high antioxidant fruits, the pomegranate. Now many of you guys always ask, John, what's the best juice for pomegranates? Well, if you want a quick and easy and dirty way to juice pomegranates, these are the best guys. I like these presses. No other brand will do. You know, there are knockoffs now of these guys, which is really sad. They may look similar, but they don't function similar. I've tried many of them. They come apart, they fall apart, and they're not made of 100% stainless on the cone area, which is really important in my opinion. 
So simply all we're going to do today is we're going to combine the pomegranate with the sweet lime juice. And let me go ahead and show you guys how easy it is. First we're going to go ahead and set that guy up. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and take a sweet lime just literally cut this guy in half. And that's what it looks like on the inside. You know, it's nice and uh, yellow. There's no green tinge or nothing like that. Now, if you can't get sweet limes, don't worry. You know, I, I have also done this recipe many times with just a standard Valencia oranges. So I do Valencia oranges and the pomegranate. Now we're doing the sweet limes. So we're just going to go ahead and press the uh, sweet lime juice out. As you guys can see, here's a dry lime that's been juiced. Oops. And here's a wet one. A lot of juice came out. So it's very simple, very easy just to come down on this and uh, juice it up. Now one of the things you might want to be concerned about when uh, purchasing uh, any citrus juice in the Olympus or Jupiter citrus presses is that you want to get nice fresh produce. Produce that's old, you know, and kind of getting light, like when you're picking produce out the store, you want to pick heavy citrus. Don't pick ones that are light for its size. Pick heavy ones, that means they got more juice in there. If they're getting light, they're getting kind of more mealy and they don't have as much juice in there and this is just not going to juice as well. In addition, if you're juicing oranges, you want to ensure that you're juicing Valencia oranges and not the navels. The navels don't juice quite as well either. They're not quite as juicy and they have a more fibrous uh, consistency to them. So as you guys can see here, just with a few simple sweet limes, we almost got half of our little container here uh, filled with the sweet lime juice. Next we're going to go for a pomegranate. So to juice the pomegranate, I normally like to just cut off the little uh, butt end. It's the opposite side of the stem. Just cut a little section off just like that. Make it nice and flat and then we're just going to take it and we're just going to go ahead and one slice, quick and easy, right in half. And check it out. There's a nice, rich, dark red pomegranate. Now one of the tips I want to give you guys is when picking a pomegranate out, you always want to pick the darkest pomegranate out you can. The darker the pomegranate on the outside, the darker the seeds are on the inside. And the darker the seeds are on the inside means there's more antioxidants and more nutrition in there for you. So man, these guys are just dripping of juice. We're going to go ahead and put this guy down right in there, centered on the center part there. Then we're just going to go ahead and bring this handle down and check it out. You guys can see uh, the pomegranate juice coming out in to my sweet lime juice. As you guys can see, it's getting it quite dry. I think we'll get it on there and really cram this guy down. All right. So normally I actually use my Olympus. This is my own Olympus that I use and I've noticed when juicing pomegranates. Uh, you get a little bit better leverage on the Olympus, so if you really want to juice a lot of palms, I definitely would encourage you to get the Olympus. Let's go ahead and put one more palm on there. Now one of the things you want to be concerned about when you come all the way down on the downstroke, if you go all the way down to max it out, um, it basically kind of sometimes will lock into place and then you have to kind of lift it up. Now when you do this, you're pressing out all the juice, which is good, but you're also going to press out some of the bitter rind oils. So this may or may not be good for you. Some, sometimes when I'm juicing, you know, I won't go down all the way that I could and show that I'm a man, but I'll just go down most of the way because I don't want the bitter rind oils. This is especially important when juicing, you know, citrus and whatnot. With the pomegranates, it, it does give it more bitter if you kind of get more of the uh, rind oils in there. As you guys can see, we're about three quarters of the way filled up. We're just going to go ahead. Now I'm uh, just juiced a few more of these sweet limes. So this is a nice and delicious, refreshing drink. I mean, one of the stories I want to tell you guys is it's really funny. I had a friend once and they're like, oh yeah, I drink palm juice all the time. That's that pomegranate juice from the store, right? And they drink that straight all the time. And my friend's like, yeah, I could drink straight pomegranate juice. I mean, I don't know about you, but straight pomegranate juice, I call that stuff pucker juice, man. You drink straight pomegranate juice, you're like, it's like a dog eating peanut butter like that and it's like it's really strong so like while well, you could make straight pomegranate juice and, and drink it up which would probably be a good thing I like to just dilute it a lot and the, my favorite thing to dilute it with at this time is the sweet limes it means nice really mild delicious flavor so as you guys can see as I'm taking these guys out sometimes I'll squeeze a little bit more and it squeezes out very little extra uh, juice out of the sweet limes I think all we need is one more and we'll have a nice 16 ounce juice to drink. All right, last one. Nothing could be simpler than just pressing this guy down, 
making your own fresh citrus juice at home. Now I want to encourage you guys, you know, to drink fresh juices. Fresh juices are not the same as things that are in packages, bottles and jars and Donald Duck orange juice and whatnot. Fresh juices are much better. You know, fresh fruits have a lot more nutrition in them than any kind of processed food that's been, you know, put in a package and pasteurized and all this kind of stuff. You lose nutrition when you start doing that. Now, yes, it's better to have a bottled pasteurized juice than a soda, but even better than a bottled pasteurized juice is making your own fresh. Plus, I've never seen sweet lime juice sold anywhere, so if you want some of these things, you literally got to juice it yourself. One of my favorite creations is actually juicing uh, blood oranges with some Valencia oranges. The Valencia oranges give it a nice sweetness, the blood oranges, once again, will give it a nice color, like the pomegranate sweet lime juice we did today. Now, when I'm done juicing, I always like to um, spin the little the top here. It'll help uh, get some juice out. I'll then uh, lift this up kind of at an angle so I don't like really uh, drip anywhere because there will be a little bit leftover juice in there. Then I'll move this up and just kind of shake it around a little bit to get some of that extra juice out. And now we get uh, clean this guy. This uh, was one of the simplest and easy juicers to clean. There's basically two parts here to clean. And then I'll take a wet sponge and wipe underneath here. And uh, look at that. Just in just a few minutes, we've created a del delicious pomegranate sweet lime juice. Mmm, delicioso. I love this stuff so much. It has a sweet lime, which is not as sweet as the orange, but no acidity, and the high antioxidant goodness of the pomegranate and all its polyphenols. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, learning more about the Jupiter and Olympus citrus presses. Once again, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors. All right, this is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you, and I'm excited today to be doing another juice off where you guys are going to get to see two juicers compared side by side juicing the same exact amount of produce.